Hello everyone and welcome back to the match on WWE 2K22. This one suggested by Omega Project. We have got Nozawa wrong guy. It's not me, you've got the wrong guy. Going up against Masakatsu Funaki. Let's crack a luck into the action. So yeah, like I said, I think I said, this one suggested by Omega Project. So thank you very much, Mr. Omega. Uh, this is the debut of Nozawa. Or Kazushige Nozawa, or Nozawa wrong guy. He goes by many names. I go by many names. Uh, so that's his debut. Masaka Masakatsu Funaki made his debut last year. Had one match so far in our universe mode and came out on the losing side. So this is his big opportunity to turn things around for himself and get back in this. Like I said... Over and over again, the All-Asian Championship is now something that is live in our universe mode moving forward. Therefore, we will see uh, basically everyone now just trying to get themselves some opportunities. Uh, talking of the All-Asian Championship, of course, that final will take place later on this evening. And we'll crown our first ever SWE All-Asian Champion, the final Minoru Suzuki versus Go Shiozaki. In the most butchered uh, names I possibly could have said once again, as always. Look at that knee right in the face. Brutal. Big boot across the chest as well. And now Nozawa stamping on the back of the knees. Big knee in the back of the thigh as well. Big drop kick in the back of the head. Lots of big stuff going on. I noticed uh, Nozawa is wearing the Peros del Mal shirt, which is the um, the heel stable in... It's AAA, isn't it, I think? Or is it in CMLL? It's in Mexico, nonetheless. Um, so I know there are quite a few... Um, Brain's gone dead. What was I just saying? I can't remember what I was about to say then. Literally, my brain has died. It shut down. My brain's just stopped for a Windows update. Big knees into the face. Oh, Funaki. I don't know anything about these two guys, by the way. I um, I know they both wrestle in Noah at this point in time. I think that was the list of matches that Omega gave me a while ago that were all Noah-based matches. And like I said, I mean, that's why I enjoy doing these sort of um, more specified shows for a couple of weeks because it means that we can utilize a lot of different people who don't normally get an opportunity in our universe mode. And it's, it's good for me to to learn about some of them, really. It's nice. As there is the pin now. After the elbow drop, it's not enough. It's not enough. Do, 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 do. There's the elbow in the back of the head by Funaki. Uh, I'm just looking actually on the ranking system. This is the only Funaki we've got, which means that um, Funaki is in WWE Funaki. Has not wrestled for us yet. He is Shouichi Shouichi Funaki. Yeah, he's not actually um, wrestled in a universe motor, but I'll just check it actually to make sure that he wasn't part of the ECW stuff he did in the past. No, he wasn't, was he? No. Um, in March 1998, Funaki, alongside Toa and Dick Togo, joined the World Wrestling Federation. They feuded with Taka Michinoko and defeated him and his partner John Bradshaw in a handicap match. Uh, Michinoko eventually turned villainous and joined the group at SummerSlam uh, when Kai and Tai lost to the Oddities. Was that in 98 the Oddities were still knocking around? My god. word. Didn't realise they were still knocking around that sort of time. There you go, yeah, so it is a different one then. Yeah. 
Big knees in the face now, bringing him back up to a standing base. Big boot across the spine. Forearms as well. Not forearms, but you know what I mean. Nice batteries low in. How has he just balanced like that? That was quite impressive, to be honest. That balancing act was very, very impressive. As now Nazawa continues on with the strikes on the outside. This is a standard match, so the referee is counting to a 10. We probably should have made the count to a 20 here because we are doing um, Wrestle Kingdom, but we didn't. So get over it. Funaki now brings Nazawa back up to a standing base. Like I said, he's currently on a minus one with that loss from last year, so he'll be looking to try and get himself uh, one back here as he stalks the ground in Nazawa. And rolls him up into that Fujiwara armbar. Is this going to be enough to get the tap out victory? I'll tell you what, the referee's not noticed, but Nazawa has hit the ropes quite a few times with his feet, and finally the referee decides that it's time for Funaki to break the submission. Nazawa breaks free now with the double axe handles into the spine. Funaki now drops Nazawa face first. Now rolls him through and drops the leg drop. Funaki now going to just strike right in the side of the face. Sheer brutality and now wrench him back at the arm as well. Funaki now stalking. Once again rolls him through into the armbar submission. Will this be enough to get the tap out victory? It is enough and Funaki gets the win. He needed that, like I said, minus one from 2022. Plus one now in 2023 gives him a zero overall in our rankings. And then, of course, uh, Nozawa in his debut. He is now going to go on to a minus one. Masakatsu Funaki with the victory then here over uh, Kazuhige Nozawa or Nozawa Rongai. Either way, I butchered the name. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who watched the video. And of course, hit the like if you did. Well, hit the like anyway, but even if you didn't like it, it still helps me out. Uh, of course, um, thank you very much once again to Omega Project for your suggestion. I will see you a little bit later on today for the big one as Minoru Suzuki goes one-on-one -on -one against Go Shiozaki to crown our first ever SWE All-Asian Champion. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. I'll see you there.